Misinformation and disinformation are two faces of the same coin. Disinformation is intentionally meant to keep you away from the truth. While misinformation may not mean to, but it is still harmful. Look, a lie is a lie is a lie, and a lie does not care who tells it. But this is the year we stop relying on hearsay and your uncle's Facebook page to be our core source for news. So don't amplify anything that isn't from a trusted source. The thing about mis and disinformation is that it is dangerous to our democracy and it contributes to voter suppression. We cannot allow our friends and our family to just believe anything. America, you in danger, girl. When people are lied to and have trouble actually getting to the truth, we have chaos and distrust in the systems that we are fighting so hard to make fair. This is the clearest way that lies erode our democracy and trust in voting. Remember, some folks' entire job is to lead you astray from casting your ballot. Our country is really going through it. We are still working our way through a pandemic. And the bottom line is, people will and have suffered because somebody lied and you believed it. We have to take care of each other, and that starts with telling the truth. So make sure what you are saying and sharing is solid. You cannot be out here just saying whatever. People listen to you, and you do not wanna be that person that does not know what they're talking about. So here are a couple of steps I take to spot a lie. Check the receipts. If you are unsure, do not share it. If something sounds too good to be true, it is. Until you click the link and read it, don't speak on it. There is no time for us to be lazy about the truth. And lastly, pipe down Twitter fingers. Proving your point on their post only adds more fuel to their fire. 